Hey, what's going on? It's Jason from Pop City Beats. Today we're going to talk about how to do a tape stop effect quickly and easily in FL Studio. So let's get right into it. All right, so I have this project open. Let me just play a little bit of it. So right before the chorus comes in, I want to put in a little tape stop effect just to give it a little breathing room before it comes back in. So the easiest way to do that is actually to go to a site called illformed.org. I'll include a link in the description as well, illformed.org. And you can download their four free plugins uh, right here. You'll notice they're 32-bit, so you want to make sure that you're putting it in the VST folder that's in your 32-bit operating system. Which, if you're a PC user, I'll show you real quick, um, would be... So just go to your main drive, go to the x86 program files. That's your 32-bit. And then you would go to your VST folder. So after you download them, um, extract the files, you'll see I have four of them right here. They all start with dblue. One of them is called Tape Stop. So uh, going into FL Studio, what I did was I did a quick scan of all of my plugins after installing those and putting those in the folder. Um, so at the very bottom here, it says Refresh Plugin List Fast Scan. Just click on that. It scans all of your plugins to see if you have any new ones. Um, and we're going to go to the Master Channel. You can see I've already added it. Um, but, you know, let's go ahead and replace it with the same one. So just go to more plugins. They all start with that D blue. Uh, we're looking for this one called Tape Stop. Double click that. Awesome. So here's the plugin right here. This, uh, the lower the number, the slower, uh, the longer it takes to slow it down. So if you have it on a low number, uh, it's going to real slow, right? That's my best tape stop impression. Um, if you have it on a higher number, it's just, you know, it would be over quickly. And then the trigger button is actually what causes it to trigger, to start the tape stop. So all you have to really do is we have this on the master channel. Just right click the trigger button and go to create automation clip. There we go. We have it down here on track 36. And let me just play a little bit of this track again. Let's go to the part of the track where we actually want to do this. Okay. So about right there. About here is where we want to start the tape stop. So I'm just going to... Hold on one second. I'm going to raise it all the way up at the place I want to start the tape stop. Here we go. And let me zoom in a bit so you can see what I'm doing here. And then we want it to go all the way back down right when the beat comes back in. There we go. So the trigger is right here. I've got it all the way up. And then when this beat comes back in, leads back into the chorus, it'll go all the way down. So let's hear and uh, listen to what that sounds like. Almost, you can see that's a little bit too much breathing room. So we actually probably want to pull it more, you know, maybe two beats later. Here we go. And then we probably want to move this back to where it was. Well, looks like I have to add another point here. Yeah, in one sec. There we go. All right. Awesome. It looks like this isn't quite all the way back down, so let's just... There we go. All right, perfect. Let's hear what that sounds like. a little longer uh, but you get the idea this is the easiest way to do it um, just gonna go just a bit longer 
instead of 0.10, maybe we'll go with 0.9, just a smidge. We'll try 0.8 and hear what that sounds like. And that's part of it, you just have to experiment with it. That's not bad, I'm actually going to tinker with it a little bit more and try to get it perfect, but that's the main idea. It's the simplest and easiest way to add a tape stop to your track. I uh, hope this has been helpful, and thanks for watching FL Studios for Dummies.